Where did El Nino go? Nowhere. It's here. The eastern United States is warmer than average this winter. Chicago has less snow and severe storms and tornadoes are hitting the southeastern United States up through the eastern seaboard. That right there is El Nino and El Nino is in full force across the eastern half of the country. So to say El Nino did not show is absolutely absurd. It did. And if you were in those states out east, you would hear nothing but El Nino predictions were correct out there on the news. With so-called professionals in the weather forecasting field predicting a massive El Nino with rainfall through Southern California, during the peak, usually December, January, February, it never really showed up. Sure, we had a couple very strong systems in January and off and on systems in December with one small system in February, but it hasn't really shown as a true El Nino pattern in Southern California. The person I'm going to put on blast right now is Bill Patzer from JPL NASA. Quite honestly, one of the worst forecasters in climate, and he calls himself a climatologist. What he does is, unless it's an El Nino pattern, it happens every two times a decade on average, he goes drier than normal seasons. Two times out of every 10 years, Patrick goes above average for precipitation with below average in Northern California with a typical El Nino pattern. According to Patzer, by now we should be flooding everywhere using boats to travel down our neighborhoods. What? Yes, he did say that. And I sure hope the guy watches what he says from now on because no one's going to believe a word from his mouth. Back in 2004 and 2005, he went drier than normal. I went above normal and we had one of our strongest rainy seasons in many years. Now we'll put him off blast right now and go right into what we're going to expect. If you are new or existing, you should know that my forecast called for above average in California for rainfall, with Northern California seeing more rain than us, which isn't a typical El Nino pattern. So why is the West Coast not seeing the typical pattern? And how did I forecast February to have ridging and above average temperatures when others said opposite back in fall 2015? That's pretty simple. It's a Martin El Nino anomaly. We have seen such a strong El Nino signature, and it's been the strongest in recorded history. There's always a balance of everything in life. Too much of a good thing can change what's normal from the moderate amounts that you put into it. So I cautioned the viewers back in fall, and this was 100% correct so far. A surface ridge west of here formed due to the higher El Nino values, and warmer waters west of here deflected the storms into Northern California and the Pacific Northwest. El Nino is still above a 2.5 Celsius, and that's still super El Nino, and it's dropping very slowly. And now what we're going with is thinking that March in a strong El Nino signal will act like a strong La Nina signal. Most of you think that La Nina means dry weather, but that is not the case in spring and fall. La Nina is dry in the winter pattern, but rainy in the fall and spring patterns. As the pattern becomes erratic out of and into the summer calm pattern, March 2016 is still on track in my long range models to be above average in precipitation. So yes, storms are coming and you need to count on it and trust what I say. If you are caught with your pants down in the roofing business and don't complain to me that you didn't have the time, it is coming after the first week of March and likely into April as well. You have your warning, I'm giving it to you now, trust what I say. Because of the higher sun angle and strong March and April storms, we likely will have an increased probability of severe weather containing tornadoes, severe winds, flooding, hail, and blizzard conditions above 6,000 feet. That's all due to the warmer level air, you know, below 5,000 feet. So yes, that's instability developing with that higher sun angle during the day. So severe storms, very likely a numerous amount of them with the spring 2016. If you want to go further throughout the year as a sneak peek, why not, huh? Been right so far. Very possible that neutral or La Nina conditions developing would bring a stronger monsoon season to southwestern United States, but temperatures will be the highest in June and July. By September, October, and November, the fall pattern would be stormier than usual opposite of what we saw last year. So next time you see an article asking why forecasters got El Nino wrong, once March and April are all over, why don't you go ahead and show them this article and get them to follow the only person to trust in weather. We can't have these so-called weather experts ruin what I'm trying to build for you, which is trust from the people in weather forecast again. Stay tuned to SouthernCaliforniaWeatherForce.com. March 2016 is going to be a blast.